Hello, good morning, guys. Welcome back to a brand new week full of learning. It's really encouraging to see all of the effort that you have been putting the la during the last two weeks, and I'm really excited to see what you're bringing this time. Today is Monday, March 30, 2020. Our lesson name for today is How does energy from the sun hit the road? Today's teaching point is I can explain how the optical illusion mirage occurs. Alright, so I encourage you to pause the video and actually begin writing down the date, lesson name, and our teaching point for today. If you're ready, let's continue. We're going to begin right away with our question of the day. It's not really a question this time. Is the transfer of kinetic energy from one medium or object to another or from an energy source to a medium or object? We have energy transfer, wave, heat, and particle. Ta -da -da -da. I encourage you yet again to pause the video and try to come up with the answer while you're on. If you did that, let's continue. Alright, our right question is heat. As you saw before in our teaching point today, we're going to be talking about heat. That involves fire, temperature, um, moving particles, kinetic energy, and all that stuff. So let's see in detail what heat is. So heat basically is the transfer of kinetic energy. Why kinetic? Because those particles move, right? Whenever we have energy transfer, we have particles that are moving, and if they're moving, then that means that that energy in a specific is a type of kinetic energy. So it says, is the transfer of kinetic energy from one warm medium or object to another cooler medium or object as well. So whenever we have this situation where energy is transferred from a body or something that is warm to another one that is cooler, then that's what we define as heat. For example, in this picture, we have the situation when we have a wood fire and this guy is probably warming up his hands right there. If we consider the two mediums or the objects that we have, as a medium we have the air, right? So these particles, this way, travel through the air all the way reaching until they reach the objects. In this case, the hands of this guy. All right. The fire is producing that energy. So from the fire is coming the energy all the way through the air reaching the, guy, the hands of this guy. If we compare the temperature of both situations, of both objects, we're going to realize that the hands of the guys are way cooler than from the fire. So right here we have a situation where we have the, this energy transfer from a, cool, a warmer object to another that is cooler. A veces decimos, for example, when um, the room is being hot and we say, let's open the door so some cool breeze might come inside. But the, it's the other way around. The warm air that is inside the room actually leaves the room, right? Because we have this warm air that is inside the room leaving it reaching that cooler air that is inside is that in this case it's like opposites attract each other so in this case we're having this warm uh, object air in this case being attracted by the cooler one that is outside so keep in mind that heat is whenever we have the situation that energy is transferred from a warm ob object to a cooler one all right, so we're going to continue about so we're going to continue talking about um, heat and all that is related. So our company of the day would be thermal energy. In Spanish, would be energia thermica. So what is that in a specific? Is the internal energy? This means that it's inside the body. So is the internal energy of an object due to the energy of motion? Yet again, kinetic energy, energy of motion of its particles. That means that the particles inside whatever body will determine their thermal energy. 
the more agitated these particles are, the more heat will be created. And therefore, the thermal energy of that body will be greater, right? It is a type of kinetic energy, yet again, because we have particles that are moving. Right here we have two examples of uh, objects that where we might find thermal energy. We have a light bulb that you might probably notice that the longer they stay on, there is a certain temperature where you can actually feel the warmth they produce. And also, and actually, we have iron that we use, for example, to actually iron our clothing that we can actually graduate according to the type of uh, clothes that we're ironing. But basically, what you notice here is that we have a situation where electrical energy is being transferred into thermal energy. And that thermal energy can be felt as heat, right? We have that heat coming from a really warm object into the medium, which is way too cooler. So whenever we talk about internal energy of an object, we need to think about thermal energy. Probably you have noticed that when we're running, for example, we start sweating, we get hotter. This is just because our internal energy, the thermal energy actually, is increased because we, our inner particles are agitated because of all the movement and activity that we're trying. Right here in this picture, we can see um, how is actually the heat transfer happening. That is always goes from a warm object into a cooler one. Right, so we're still working on our module energy transfer. This is the last lesson, and today we're beginning actually this one heat. So after this one, we're closing out this energy, this module, and we're beginning a new one. So the central question that we're trying to answer in this lesson is what is heat? So today we're taking a closer look at what heat really means. We're still missing a few more uh, classes in this lesson, so later on we're going to construct a clearer idea of what heat is. So to our teaching point yet again is I can explain how the optical illusion mirage occurs, but what is that? Probably we have seen this before, but not as we call it, right? So mirage is an, it is an optical illusion caused by atmospheric conditions, especially the appearance of a sheet of water in a desert or on a hot road caused by the refraction of light from the sky by heated air. So Joe, what are you talking about, right? So let's open our book on page 62. And right there, you're going to see a road, sort of an avenue. And you will see that the street looks wet, but it's not actually wet. So let's show you a video. Oh, well, you're going to be taking a look at that. Dun, 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 dun. There you are. Right, so probably you have going, I don't know, down the highway, and it's been pretty hot, really sunny, and you can see at the far distance that the road looks greasy, probably wet, but then when we get closer and we actually go through it, then we see that it's ne neither wet nor greasy. What happens is <coughs> what we just saw before. So we got this refraction right here of light from the sky by heated air. And therefore, we have sort of an illusion right there that makes up our eyes believe that the road ahead is actually um, wet. As if you take another look at page 62, you will see right there a road with a greasy um, Road, but this is basically happened 
when light passes through cool air to warm air, and then this optical illusion happens again. So right here we have in a situation that is pretty similar to the one that we described when we have heat, where we have a situ a, an element passing through cool air to warm air. But in this case, it would be actually the opposite. But we have light this time, light, passing through cool air to warm air, right? So when this happens, our eyes will always believe or have the illusion that that something ahead where that refraction is happening will be kind of well like that. So that is just one way um, on how that energy coming from the sun actually, or actually this heat coming from the sun is seen on the road. So today we're only taking a look at how this phenomenon is. Later on we're going to explore this um, more deeply. In our next session, we're going to actually be putting into practice some of this thermal energy in an experiment that I want you to try at home. All right? So what you're going to be completing at home will be on page 53. All right? So what you're doing right there is to basically uh, read an instruction that we have at the very top of the page, which says, look at the photo and watch the video of a mirror. How do you know that the road is hot? What do you observe? What do you wonder about the mirrors? Talk about your ideas with the parents. If you can talk about with your parents, that would be nice, or with your brother and sister. And then you're going to record or illustrate your observations below. If you want, you may go back a few minutes on this video so you can actually repeat the short video that I presented on this row displaying the Mirage uh, optical illusion. So you're going to be completing this on your book, page 63 again, guys. And that will do it for today. I will add another link on the, on the PDF so you can actually take a closer look at what this phenomenon looks like, right? So that will, be do it. that will do it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. And the next one that will be on Wednesday, we're going to be trying um, an inquiry activity. What are we going to need for that inquiry activity? Just, I will tell you now, so the case that you don't have those materials can actually um, get them with time. So we're going to need two clear plastic cups. We're going to need some cold water. We're going to need a permanent marker, some paper, and blue and red food coloring. Besides that, some ice cubes. You can find this materials on page 64 on your science book. Right? So it was a pleasure, guys. See you next time.